So nested scenes inside OBS. What are they? What are they used for? Why do I use them? Let's jump over to OBS and take a look why these useful things will help you out in stream. Super useful, super handy. I only just learned this and I wish I'd knew this a long time ago. It would have saved me a lot of messing around. So it's quite tricky. It took me a little while to get my head around it. But now I have. I'm going to do my best to explain it to you guys. Hopefully, Mr. Turbograss. Hopefully it'll help you out as well and help you sort out your stream. Just make it a little bit more organized and stuff like that. So let's jump over to OBS and we'll take a look. I'd just like to give a shout out and say thank you to the sponsor of today's video, VBI. Visuals by Impulse is the place to go if you're looking for any stream aesthetics, overlays, stinger transitions, stream deck icons, full packages, anything that you need regarding to stream, go and check them out. There's a link in the description for 5% off everything. Thank you, my guys. Here inside the desktop, we have the brand new release today, 27.2.0 OBS. If yours doesn't look like this, don't worry. This is a brand new fresh copy. I've put a theme on it. If we've got enough time at the end of the video, I'll um, show you how to bang themes on yours so you can make it slightly more colorful. So here we are, we've got a completely blank canvas, no sources and no scenes. This is where we're going to be spending most of our day today inside the scenes and sources file right here. And this is where we're going to try and put some sources inside some scenes to make nested scenes. Right, so the first thing you want to do is create some scenes and then from there we can add some sources. So scenes, most gamers have a gaming scene, so we're going to call this GG for gaming. This is our first gaming scene. As you can see, it's got no sources, the screen is black. So that's our gaming screen. A lot of people have a Be Right Back screen, so we'll call this one BRB, Be Right Back. We're going to add one more and that's going to be chatting. As most streamers have, just a chatting screen I do myself. So they're your three main screens. These are the ones we're going to be working on and then you can add to it and make it yours yourself. But these are the three we're going to be working on. So I've put this in here. This is just another scene. All I did was instead of giving it a name, is just draw a bunch of lines and then we can use that as a partition between the scenes just to help you out and help you get a little bit more organized. I'll delete that one I just made because I've got one here. So I'm going to move this one down and then we've got our three scenes and this flat line. So next thing you want to do is by adding sources. So normally what you do to add a source is to jump into here, add webcam source or your media source or your game capture, display capture, and add it in here. But today we're going to add it as a scene. So down here, add. We're going to call this one screen capture because we're going to capture a screen. This could be your game capture or anything like that, but we're going to call this screen cap. Okay, so we'll okay that one. And then inside screen cap, that's where you add your source. So we've also, we've got the screen cap here. We've got the source here. Inside the screen cap is where we're going to add our source. So we'll jump in here and we'll add our display capture. We'll leave it as display capture and then we know what it is. Obviously you can name it what you want, but for this, we'll just leave it as display capture. All right. So there's our display capture. We'll put this on display number three. This is one of my desktop screens over here on the left hand side. So as you can see here, we've got our desktop capture inside our screen capture scene. Okay, so that's the source. All right, so again, we'll make another scene, not source, we'll make another scene and we'll call this webcam. So I'm just gonna call it cam. Most streamers need a webcam, right? So then inside the cam scene, we add a source. So we're gonna add another source, video capture device in OBS, that's your webcam. So we're gonna add a webcam. My webcam's obviously busy over here recording this video, so I'm just going to grab Chroma Cam. You'll get the idea. It'll just look like a webcam, but it won't be a webcam. So add your webcam, go down the list, find the one that you're using. I'm just going to use Chroma Cam here for an example, just, just for us to give us something to look at. So this will be your gaming webcam. Okay, so there's your little webcam inside your scene of camera. So in the screen capture, we've got the screen. Inside the camera, we've got the camera. But inside the GG for gaming, be right back and chatting are all empty. So now we can start adding sources inside scenes. So inside the gaming screen, 
we're going to want our screen capture. So instead of going to sources and adding display capture and going for all that, add existing and going through this and going through that, forget all that, add the source, but add a scene to the source. This is new inside OBS. There's a little button here for scene, which means you can add one of these scenes inside this folder here. So I'm going to add a scene. The scene I'm going to choose is screen capture because inside my game, and obviously I want my screen capture or my game capture or whatever it is that you're supposed to be capturing. So I'm just going to press OK on this. And there's my screen capture from this folder placed inside here. So this is the main scene that goes out to Switch. This could be your game capture, your desktop capture, whatever it is that you're streaming. Now we need to add a webcam to this. We've already got one nested scene, which is this green grab. We've got that in. Now we want to add another source. So instead of going to video capture device, add existing, forget that. What we do is we add another scene. The scene we want is called cam because we've just added it. Press OK. And there's your cam. This is obviously going to come through in the base resolution. So if you just hold Alt on the uh, keyboard and drag these boxes in, then you can resize it however you want without any complications as well. So use Alt key. Pro tip right there. Right, so now we have our gaming scene, we have our webcam, and we have our screen grab. Now, if you added these individually inside sources, when you adjust one, it will adjust them all. So what I mean by that, I'm just going to pop into my chatting screen. Inside my chatting scene, I want the screen grab. So again, we're going to add a scene, grab the screen grab. There's our screen grab. We're just going to bring this down to show you what I mean. And then we're also going to add another scene, webcam. So we'll grab the cam. And we'll drop that in as well. This is up here again. I'm going to hold the Alt key. Just uh, shrink this down. And I'm going to move it to the other side of the screen. So you can see now inside the chatting screen, I've got two nested scenes. I've got the camera nested scene and I've got the screen grab. Okay. But now because they're separate sources, they're not linked as they would be if we put them in the old way. So on the gaming screen, they're this shape. Like... I can move these around, put them wherever I want, adjust them, crop them, do whatever I like with them. And then when I come back to the chatting scene, it's this shape. So the old way we used to do it was stack them up in here. So we'd be adding more sources in here. And then if you adjusted it on one scene, it'd be the same on that scene, you know? And then you'd have to copy and paste each one in and then you'd end up with a list down here as long as your arm and it's rather confusing. So let me just show you one more. So I'm, I'm going to have social pop-ups popping up on my screen. I want uh, some YouTube handles coming up to say subscribe to the channel. Hint, hint, if you haven't already do so. Uh, so we're going to call this scene pop-up and it's just down here. It's got nothing in it and we're going to add a media source. We're going to call this pops and then we know what it is. Local file, I'm just going to browse here. Green screen YouTube pop-up. It's actually a video file, MP4. Here it is right here. I'm going to put it on loop and then we can see it. I'm going to hold the Alt key again, shrink this down so then there's not much green. So we've got the pop-up scene here. This is our pop-up that we want popping up on screen. Obviously mine is the green screen. We've done a video on that. If you want to know how to remove green screens from pop-ups like this that you get or overlays or whatever, check the video out. I'll put a link up here for you. Now I've got our social pop-up here on this scene. Any scene that I want this pop-up to appear in, I can just add it in. So on the gaming screen, I'm going to want to use that pop-up. So we just add scene pop-up. Okay, and there's our pop-up. Again, we can drag the app, use the Alt key, shake this down. Obviously it's on loop, so it's just going to keep popping up so grab the alt key we pop it down and then we bring it down and we position it wherever we want perfect and as before we can just jump to any screen that we want this pop-up in or this picture or whatever it may be so we'll jump over to the chatting scene so we want the pop-up scene in here as well so we just add scene pop-up this could be a photo a logo a background a webcam frame absolutely anything you want but i do recommend using these lines to divide them up as well super super handy so we can add whatever we want here i'm just going to add a background just going to call it background bg inside the background source add a media source when i can find it media source we're just going to leave it called media source browse my pc like i did before we'll leave it on a loop and then it'll keep going round and round until we get it sorted out so here's a background for a stream so any scene that you want this on which you're going to want it on maybe you're chatting screen as a background to fill the gaps in again we just add go to scene grab the bg for background 
add it in, move it down the list so it's at the bottom. So this works in layers. And there you have our scene. But that's your basic way you have to build a scene with nested scenes. Super easy, super, super, super useful. But once you get your head around putting sources inside scenes and scenes inside sources, it is confusing. I get that and it does take a while. But once you get your head around that, easy well it looks like we've run out of time before i have a chance to show you how to make your obs colorful so if you want to know how to make your obs different colors put different themes on it stay tuned i'll put that in the next video so i do hope somebody somewhere found this video useful if you did hit that like button for us it does really help youtube algorithm show this video to more people and i will be doing more obs videos and davinci resolve tutorials as well so keep your eye on the page for that and i'll see you on the next one appreciate your eyes and ears guys and as always